start the recording. Okay. Okay. Welcome to all four of you. <laughs> Happy to see you. <laughs> um, obviously, Andrea's not here tonight, so I will run through this and hopefully we'll be quick. Um, so the meeting minutes, Elena, do you want to um, talk about those? Did anybody have any changes to the March 12th minutes? I did not. No. <laughs> okay. Rebuilding No changes. Okay. And we haven't had any e votes since the last meeting. So nothing to report there. Correct. Okay. Um, and then what we're, we wanted to do this time is talk about just the slate has been out there. We just are posting it now. Um, and all the people on the e board uh, positions are um filled except for two right now and the two that are not filled are the vice president position and the media and marketing position is open so if anyone knows of anybody that's interested in doing that for next season that would be great and a big help um so please let us know and what we're, the committee chair is actually still open i should go back to that also our fundraising teacher appreciation and alumni relations so we do need a little help there as well. Have we um, had contact with the current eighth grade parents? Would we expect anyone from Derby's PTA or BCS to come and fill some of those positions? That's can, you guys, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Um, so I think there's at least two, if not three people interested in teacher appreciation. Um, so that would be good. And we did put it out to Derby PTA or to Derby. And BCS, they've posted our little request for help too. Wonderful. Yeah, Katie, our new legislative is coming from BCS. So well, maybe one. I'll put up over there. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We continue to post calls for volunteers for those positions. So. Yeah, and it's on you know on Facebook, um, Instagram, all of that. Joe's done a great job with that. So thank you for that. We'll keep touting it out there, but we will, it will be online. So if anybody wants to look at it, it'll sit for 30 days and then we'll vote on it and it'll become good for next year. Any questions on that, you guys? No. Okay. Um, and then we have staff appreciation week coming up May 6th to the 10th um, and activities fair on May 30th. So there are opportunities listed online to volunteer during staff appreciation. Um, and if anyone has any ideas for more volunteers, you know, let us know. We've got sign up geniuses out there. So um, that's that. And a Amy, do you have anything to say about that? Nope. Okay. Um, no, I was just looking to see if anyone had signed up for the activities fair um, to help. Okay. But they're out there. Okay. And then the volunteer of the year award right now, um, we're in the wings working on that. We have three nominations for that. Um, Sue Wright, Rachel Ann Miller, and Beth Swanson uh, are the nominees right now. The deadline to submit um, your votes is April 16th. Um, and we will award them at the district award ceremony, which we're having in the Seaholm Auxiliary Gym on May 6th. Which we now have music reformers for. Which is great. Thank you very much. I think our talented kids. So May 6th um, at 6.30, there'll be a reception. And then at seven o'clock will be the uh, presentation. And We've invited all the Reflection State winners and families, all the Reflection chairs and leaders, the PTA presidents from all the schools. Um, Ambika will be there. Um, Mike will be there. The Michigan PTA will possibly be there as well. And um, we have the incoming and outgoing presidents will be there. And I'm wondering, am I forgetting anybody? It's a big, it's a big event. I think we had a hundred people last year when we did it and it was a really nice event. We have light food um, and desserts there and 
in the past, it's been known as the Reflections Banquet, and now we're trying to transition it to a, what's called the District Award Ceremony so that we can highlight people. And in the future, they're, I think they're going to make the Reflections portion of it a little bit smaller um, and go focus on the District Award Ceremony, but this is kind of our transitional year. So it is a really nice event. Hope we can fill up the gym. <laughs> be fun to, it'll be fun to have an event in there. Probably fill half of it. It's so big. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but I think we're all set for that. So that's great. And treasurer's report. I don't, Jen's not on here. So I guess we will postpone that. And if she pops on, we can get that when she pops on. She apologizes, but she's in a work firestorm. <clears throat> um, she has no reports, no updates of note but encourages folks that need reimbursement on approved expenditures to reach out so that we can make them whole given their uh, contributions to cause, but um, that's where reimbursement is, is appropriate. So reach out. Okay, thank you. We probably wanna tidy all that up before the end of the year as well. Make sure to get everything in. Um, principal's report, Mike. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Coming up is one of every teacher's favorite time of the year. Standardized testing mm. has begun. So uh, the 11th, which I believe is Thursday, we have our first standardized test. That's the ACT work keys for our 11th graders and the PSAT 10. So um, that is exciting. On that day, the 11th and 10th and 11th graders will come to school in the morning and then everyone else will be in the afternoon. Um, and then on the 16th is the SAT with SA for the 11th grade and the PSAT 8-9. So that'd just be the ninth grade for us. So just 11th grade and ninth grade come in that day and 10 and 12 just have the whole day off. And then the next day on the 17th, the 11th graders take the M step, but uh, everyone else 9, 10 and 12 just comes to school as normal. So we have some of those testing days coming up and that information's out all over the place. But um, so big time for the juniors. Um, but you know, we, we really appreciate the kids taking it seriously because, you know, a lot of our rankings and, and things like that are coming off of these exam scores. Um, if you haven't had a chance to see the softball field is almost completely finished. The baseball field is getting there as well. So those two sports kicked off last week and new stands to sit in uh, all new turf fields. Wow. Um, no more, um, the softball field flood every spring like we couldn't have even played the game last thursday because it would have been underwater um so that's exciting um the john hummel and the choir have a activity next friday which is kind of like a variety show so that's exciting that that's returning and um you know we 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 bid out the project that the big pile of gravel goes to <laughs> so i've been told the big pile of gravel will be distributed in july so they told me it was going to be gone before the first day of school i just forgot to ask which year so i thought it was the first day 2024 but maybe they meant 2025 well, that's, that's your fault for assuming yep and then um, more good more good news the six bathrooms that are currently closed at sea home I've been told should be opening up on the 16th or the 17th. So those are the two bathrooms in the G hall. Those are the two bathrooms that are upstairs across from the um, TV studio where Mr. Stein teaches. And then the two bathrooms that are connected to the auditorium. So once those are all open, then we will take the two bathrooms in the C hall offline. And then this summer we will complete the bathroom renovations and the cafeteria and some of the other high traffic places. We are also getting all new cafeteria furniture this summer. So um, including the installation of physical booths in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. So something that Groves has had for a while, the kids really like over there. So um, we will have those installed along with new tables uh, and chairs for the uh, all new furniture in the cafeteria and some classrooms as well. So lots of bond work being done this summer. Um, and as soon as we get the gravel, the two remaining well, three remaining projects for outside is the, you know, finishing up the full practice field, which is, you know, kitty corner to the baseball field. Um, this area, which no one can see because I'm pointing outside, 
but mm -hmm. right by the community ed entrance, there's a sloping mud field, which will be graded and that will be 45 to 60, depending on how the painting goes, new parking spots outside of community ed. Um, and then they are redoing the entrance to the community ed lot and the, um, the cut in on Lincoln. So if you've ever like dropped a student off and then, you know, turned on to Evergreen slash Cranbrook, that front of the building will be under construction this summer. Um, though with academic summer school going completely pretty much online, there'll be less bodies here in the building. But if you do need to come to see home this summer uh, after June 14th, you'll just need to come through park uh, in the pool side, the lot where the students park, that, that entrance will still be open. And uh, yeah, we just nine more weeks of school after the, uh, including this one. And the kids are excited. AP testing is coming up as well. So the kids are a little more excited about our AP testing than they are about the state testing. Um, but uh, we just need everyone to finish strong, including our seniors. We appreciate them continuing to come to school and uh, putting in their maximum effort. But um, it's been a really great school year and um, we're looking to finish strong. Um, senior parents, if you are watching this, um, look for emails about just reminders of the senior activities like clap out and senior picnic. And, and uh, I know the Student Congress wants to do a senior sunset to kind of put a capstone that the year started out the senior sunrise and it'll end with the senior sunset. So look for a message from Ms. Getz and Ms. Feliciano about uh, that event. Yeah, that's good. Oh, cool. great. Thank you. It's okay. A lot of stuff. Um, Ms. Getz is not on, so um, I don't have an update from her. Did, did any of you guys hear about anything from Student Congress going on? No. You should check out an email for the senior parents about Senior Sunset. That will be operated through Student okay. Congress. Perfect. Um, if there's anything else, I will have... Um, Katie, write up an update and send it to Andrea and we can get it out if there's anything that senior parents need to know or any okay. parents need to know. Thank you. Next up is Michelle's legislative update. Do you have anything for us, Michelle? Uh, hang on a second. I'm trying to get <clears throat> audio back. Um, so no, I don't have an update. Nothing exciting on the legislative front. Okay, thank you. Short and sweet. You're you guys are gonna finish this in record time. <laughs> um, <laughs> and Christina with the grants. What's going on over there in that corner? Uh, nothing new since last time. Okay, so we're good there. And then com committee reports, I'll take that. First Fridays, um, we're doing great on first Fridays. We've hit all staff members except for 15 as of last Friday. Um, so we're doing great there. The next donation date is May 3rd and that will be our last one. We're not doing a first Friday in June. Um, teacher treats have been filled up for quite some time. So there's no extra teacher treats we can do, but if someone was planning on doing the treats, Instead of the treats, they could still donate to First Fridays because we could use a few more um, dollars. So that's that. Um, and hopefully, then see, hopefully that uh, the teacher treats will continue next year. I know that the, the teachers really appreciate it. So yeah, we plan to keep doing that. So that's great. Sarah, oh, sorry, yeah. Sarah. Do you know how many more we need for First Fridays for everyone to get something? I think we need 15. I need to look. I'll finalize that, but around that might be 12 to 15. Left. All right, thanks. Uh -huh, you're welcome. Um, and then new business, the senior all night party um, committee chair could not be here, but I'm helping to work on the tiles for that event. So I got the update. The all night party will be June 9th from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. at the hub. Um, the price now has gone up to $125. And I think we had, well, I didn't get the latest update I was trying, but did not get a response. But as of two months ago, we had a hundred, about 150 seniors going, but I think between then and now we've probably gotten quite a few more tickets bought, um, but you can still buy tickets. We do need volunteers for the party still. Um, and it's supposed to be 
a really fun event. I've never been in the past, but some of the things that they do at this event are they have a casino area, they have carnival games, bingo, axe throwing, bowling, they have a psychic, a photographer walks around, takes pictures, um, they can eat all they want. And the big thing is they have a really cool raffle, I guess, where they raffle 60 different baskets or items. And some of the items that had been donated last year, which we're looking for this year, are a 32-inch flat screen TV, a mini, some mini fridges, microwave, there's spa days, um, mini themed baskets, mountain bikes, dorm room stuff, um, gift cards to restaurants, just tons of different fun things. So these are not just little mini baskets. They're great if you win um, the raffle. Um, that's the party. And then the online on Facebook and Instagram, we have sign up sheets for people to volunteer to work the party. There are two shifts. And so we're looking for people to do that. And then in addition to that, right now we have the yard signs, the college signs and the wall tile signups all going on. Um, and all of that is on social media as well as has been sent out in emails. So if anybody needs to purchase any of those items, everything is on e-funds and you can purchase through e-funds. And any questions on that? I think that covers that in a nutshell. No. Okay. That's that. And May 14th is going to be our next PTA meeting at 7 p.m. It's the incoming freshman family informational meeting, which um, usually we get a pretty good attendance there. So that's what we're focusing on there. And then June 11th will be an executive board meeting only. So our last public meeting will be May 14th at 7 p.m. And that's all I have for you guys today. Anyone have anything to add? So I uh, just wanted to add, I noticed that the NACAC National College Fair is going to be at the Suburban Collection no Showplace in Novi on April 25th. Um, it requires pre-registration, but you can get the link and everything is on the Suburban Collection Showplace website. They have a morning session and an evening session. That's great. Anybody? I'm going to give you some free time tonight. I think that's the fastest I've <clears throat> done this. Seven, seven, eighteen. I have a question. Maybe I'll direct this to you. Sure. Um, on the website, do you know of how we would, I'm thinking of all the volunteer opportunities, which are very prevalent and they're sort of all scattered. Like mm -hmm. there's this one and there's this one and there's this one. If I could consolidate those and put them in a singular place and maybe direct people to there's a host of volunteer opportunities ranging from being a member of the PTA board to helping out at the all night party. Do you know, is the website flexible enough to do something like that? I am not sure that. I have, um, I have not played with the website much. Kathy Tangeris, the, the, my assistant really is the, the master of that, but I can definitely ask her about okay. if there's a place we can centralize all of that. Yeah. And I can send her a note too. Yeah, that probably would be good. Yeah. Okay. That would be really helpful. People could just go to one place uh, and yeah. see all the signups. Because right. yeah. it's this post and that post and this other post and that post from last week. And yeah, you know, I want to help out, but I so yeah. consolidate and make those all available. Great idea. Anything else? Well, thank you for joining everybody and anybody vote to adjourn the meeting. Oh, I, I, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Have a great night, you guys. Good to see Bye. you. Bye. Right. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.